Hello and Shabbat Shalom to you. I hope that you are enjoying your Friday and uh, that you will enjoy the transition from Friday into Shabbat and enjoy your Shabbat and have uh, lots of challah and lots of relaxation. Uh, we are going to transition into the uh, Torah portion this week of, of uh, it's called Va'et Hanan. Va'et Hanan is the second Torah portion in the book of Devarim and the book of Deuteronomy. And uh, it has very uh, has two very popular pieces of text. One is, as you can see behind me, the Ten Commandments. The other is Shema Vahafta, the the piece of liturgy that is known worldwide. It comes from an all Torah in all uh, prayer books in all denominations. It is uh, pulled out of this week's Torah portion, and it becomes liturgy and goes into all those prayer books. So Shema Vahafta and the Ten Commandments, and I want to chat with you about the Ten Commandments, clearly because there's a little Moses behind us to help us out. I would like to uh, teach you the Ten Commandments in the correct order uh, with a really uh, clever teaching tool um, with some, uh, with and our, our fingers will help to uh, help us count the commandments so that we'll know exactly uh, what order and what they are. Here we go. You ready? Seems a little silly. I promise you it's not. And I promise you that when you're done, you'll think, huh, I know all 10 commandments. And I know the right order. It's pretty cool. So here we go. One, one God. Two, second, second commandment, no other gods. Three, third commandment, don't take God's name in vain. Four, keep Shabbat. They look like little flickering candles keep shabbat five honor your father and your mother that's sign language for father and mother so one first commandment one god second commandment no other gods third commandment don't take god's name in vain fourth commandment honor shabbat little candles flickering and five honor your father and your mother that's sign language for father and mother number six Don't murder. Don't murder. That's number six. Number seven, don't commit adultery, pulling on the on the wedding band. That's number seven. Number eight, you're going to take five like this and three like this. That's eight. And you're going to make a little, like a little pocket because that's don't steal, like out of a little pocket. That's that's number that's number eight. Number nine, you're going to make Four fingers this way, five fingers this way, and you're it's as if you're going to make a vow, and those are that's nine. So uh, that's uh, don't bear false witness. That's what number nine is, and number ten is don't covet, don't want other people's things. Quick review: one, one God; two, no other gods; number three, don't take God's name in vain; number four, keep Shabbat; number five, honor your father and your mother. Number six, don't murder. Number seven, don't commit adultery. Number eight, don't steal. It's a little pocket right there. Number nine, don't bear false witness. And number 10, don't covet, don't want other people's things. Those are the 10 commandments. And so now I look forward to seeing you in a couple of hours uh, at services. And then tomorrow morning, also at services. And I look forward to you sharing with me all Ten Commandments and in the correct order, because now you know how to do them with our little educational tool. So, 6.30 services, not that far from now. Look forward to seeing you. And tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock, our summer hours will be our service and our Torah study. I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Shabbat Shalom.